the U.S. offers Russia a bargain in exchange for Brittany Griner's release. In order to free WNBA star Brittany Griner and another imprisoned American, Paul Whelan, the United States has made a deal with Russia, according to Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Wednesday. Blinken also stated that he expected to speak with his Kremlin counterpart for the first time since before Russia invaded Ukraine, which is a major reversal of previous policy. The declaration represented the first time the American government made any tangible steps it had taken to obtain Griner's release publicly. Griner was detained on drug-related charges at a Moscow airport in February and gave evidence in her trial on Wednesday. It is uncertain if the suggested compromise, which was put up weeks ago, will be sufficient for Russia to release the Americans because Blinken provided no information on it. However, the administration is under increasing pressure to return Griner and Whelan, and the public acceptance of the offer comes at a time when the United States has generally avoided Russia. Washington, according to Blinken, wants a reaction from Moscow. Victor Bao, a Russian arms dealer widely known as the Merchant of Death, was sentenced to 25 years in jail in 2012 after being accused of planning to sell weapons worth millions of dollars illegally. Russia has long expressed interest in seeing Bao free. Blinken claimed that he had asked to speak with Sergei Lavrov, the foreign minister of Russia. According to American officials, the main, though not the only, reason for the U.S.'s request for a call with Lavrov on Wednesday was the need for a response to the prisoner offer. If the call goes through, it will be the two men's first exchange since February 15th, or a week before Russia invaded Ukraine. Blinken stated that in addition to warning Lavrov about the dangers of potential Russian attempts to annex parts of eastern and southern Ukraine, he would also be speaking with Lavrov about the significance of Russia abiding by a deal negotiated by the UN to release numerous tons of Ukrainian grain from storage. Whelan, a corporate security executive from Michigan, was given a 16-year prison term in 2020 for espionage-related offenses. His family and he have adamantly maintained his innocence. The accusations have been refuted by the American administration. His family and he have adamantly maintained his innocence. The accusations have been refuted by the American administration. Greiner, who has spent the past five months in Russian detention, admitted in court this month that she had vape cartridges containing cannabis oil in her luggage when she landed in Moscow in February but she maintains that she did not do so on purpose and did so accidentally. At her trial on Wednesday, Greiner claimed she had no idea how the cannabis oil got into her bag, but added that she had a prescription for it from a doctor and had packed quickly. She claimed that she was approached at the airport when inspectors discovered the cartridges, but that only a small portion of the conversation was translated into her native tongue during her interrogation. She also claimed that officials told her to sign documents without explaining why. If found guilty of narcotics transport, Reiner may spend up to 10 years in prison.